Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Let's do a quick energy check-in. Energy chicken? <laughs> That's what it sounded like I said. Let's do a quick energy chicken. Energy check-in. I've got the ancient Italian cards. The ancient Italian tarot. Oh, we've got the tower. What's that about? Okay. You can really just see one person falling from this tower. Someone's already fallen. I feel like this is, um, well, it's when you try to avoid the towers, um, you try to avoid disaster. Stay clear of disaster striking. And it's like you have to allow whatever wants to occur to occur so that transformation can take place. I don't know, I feel a bit giggly. I don't feel in this tower energy. So I feel, I have felt in this tower energy. Um, so it's kind of, I feel the energy of, if you've been through your transition, then you've already kind of uh, fallen from the tower. <clears throat> and then there's another figure that's in the tower. So it's kind of like leap time and it's out of your hands. Um, when it's time to go, it's time to go. And I feel like the same really, the same uh, applies to death. When your time's up, your time's up. You can try to prolong it, but it's inevitable. But none of us are getting out of this alive. Okay. Quick reading, quick reading. I don't know what energy I'm delving into here. Well, a tower energy. Uh, seven of wands. I have to think now <laughs> what the cards mean. The Seven of Wands is about, um, oh, standing your ground. Okay. There's quite a resistant energy to that. Uh, with standing your ground, the Seven of Wands, because he's kind of like pushing against. Um, whatever's coming towards him, he's pushing against it. So I feel like someone's standing their ground. They're not jumping. They're not going to leap. They will be pushed if they don't jump. Um, but it's like they're watching others take that leap of faith. Well, the top of that tower is about to fall and expose this person here who, with the energy of being a chicken, is coming through, isn't it? Hit me with your whipping stick. Hit me. Hit me with your whipping stick. Not a rhythm <laughs> stick. Whipping stick. <laughs> the six of uh, swords. Moving on. That's just a card of moving on. Okay, so someone's standing their ground. I feel they're resilient. Um, they're resilient. They're resilient. Okay. Resilient to what? Oh, well, he knows. <laughs> He's the King of Swords, so it's a divine masculine energy that's coming through. Um, the sternest, the strictest kings of all the kings. Has a bit of an attitude problem. <laughs> and uh, I feel as if... Oh, he feels like he's resilient to the towers. Like he's untouchable. This masculine may have been going through his life not really having any major upheavals that are life-changing. This one is. Bottom of the deck. It does look like he's going to fight back against the divine, though. The tower only strikes, only strikes, the tower only gets struck uh, when you're on the wrong path or in the wrong building or in the wrong environment. A really, a really very resilient masculine. Resilient. I'm meant to be saying resistant. And all that keeps coming out is resilient. 
when you're resilient to something, then it doesn't affect you. <laughs> he's ready. <laughs> it's like he's kind of saying, bring it on. No tower was going to budge him. Wow. So he's actually resistant to moving on. He feels as if he's resilient. He's untouchable. It's like he feels he's came out of this unscathed. This is a masculine who feels um, he's kind of got away with something. And he's come out of it unscathed. Or so he thinks. Um, where do we go from here then? Well, it's not my story. <laughs> Let's see where this masculine goes from here. Let's get some cards. Journey of love. Oh, that's where the divine is trying to put you. Is onto the path. The path of love. The path to love. And there's a journey that needs to be taken. And I feel this masculine is resistant to taking the journey. Ooh, that's not for him. It's okay. <laughs> I can hear it all in my head. <laughs> and it does make me chuckle. So it's a very egotistical energy. Well, egotistical? Mm. I don't know if that's the right word. The ego's uh, stepped in, though, to protect this masculine. He's scared of change. That's what he is. He is scared of change. Woman of Light. Card number 49. So you have to remember this masculine's hiding away. He's not going to take the leap of faith. He's trying to hide, trying to uh, dodge uh, any disasters, any dramas. Hey. And he looks quite smug. <laughs> Come to the Oracle of Shadows and Light. I want to read about this woman of light first. Card number 49. Pure is my joy, my celebration. I know the divine to be eternal. There is no limit to my peace, to my pleasure, as I rise and rise and rise again. Capable am I of receiving the light, of accepting the next level of illumination. I am sacred flesh coming to light. I am the walking temple, the living goddess, she who shines with truth. I come to you now. I am one with you now. I am the awakened one and the awakener. Okay, then. Tuck that bit of hair behind my ear so we can hear properly. This oracle brings you guidance that you are to be witness to the presence of an awakened being, either within your own self as part of your spiritual destiny or in the form of a beloved other. An awakened one in your midst, an awakened one is in your midst or soon will be. Receive the blessing that emanates from such a being for to behold one is a gracious spiritual gift that will lift you to the next step of your path. If you are having trouble discerning the true presence of an awakened teacher in your midst or even in your own being, rem remember that nothing is asked from you by such awakened ones but loving devotion so that they may serve the awakening of all living beings. It requires much karmic grace to be granted immediate access to an awakened being, even more to become such a living light. Take delight. I ask God for a deepening of my love without realising that the deeper I was willing to go, the more it involved letting go of any part of myself that wanted to love and still be safe. In surrender to the possible, lay the greatest potential for love at levels before unknown, like a cistern that holds the nectar of life and gives its, and gives its precious liquid, only to be filled again with nature's flow. Such knowingness is a gift, for if you can embrace the blessing, you can live without question, relaxing, and replenishing with each breath, with each kiss, always whole. Interesting. So, Divine Masculine, you are to be um, witness to an awakened being that is in your midst or soon will be. 
whether you like it or not, you're going to be witness to it. The other colour shadows and lights. <clears throat> Groovers in the heart. Uh, uh. It said take delight. Delight. <laughs> One, two, three. Groove. The oracles of shadows and light. Sea storm. Calm amid chaos. I feel this is the divine feminine's energy. Well, she is the woman of light. <laughs> I just feel the energy of taking the leap of faith, transformation occurs. 32, about sea storm. Even though the seas are wild, the atmosphere is torn with stabs of lightning and there is no land in sight. Oh, you can see land here. Look. <laughs> the sea storm being is following her intuition and she will know what to do to make it home. Lightning won't strike her. And she will keep swimming until she reaches land. She seems slightly in a trance. And is using her inner wisdom and deep knowledge to swim home. She is from Atlantis. Where she saw beings doing things that would lead to destruction. She has seen how their hurts led to this upheaval. And her home has sunk under the waves. She now goes out in search of her new home, and so too can you. Sea storm, sea storm speaks, <clears throat> if we can get the words out. You are surrounded by storms, wild moments, and a great deal of emotional drama at this time. The world you know may be changing in almost unrecognisable ways. Waves. Ways. Waves want to come through. This is your wave. <laughs> the third wave. Look, they've gone. They've taken the leap. You're next. <laughs> the world you know may be changing in almost unrecognisable ways. There is destruction behind you and you have left it in the past, but you are still searching for your new home. You will find it if you turn inwards and listen to the inner, knowledge, <laughs> the inner knowledge that will send you in the right direction. Don't look, look. You are a shapeshifter. You are able to make it through this time with no land, no home and no apparent rescue by trusting that you will make it. The divination message. This is a time of upheaval and great change. But if you tune in to that deep inner voice and follow the radar you have built into your very cells, you will find the way home through all this chaos and wreckage. The old world is gone. The new world is yet to be found. The journey will continue for some time, but trust. Trust. Trust and follow the compass of your inner guidance. Listen, check in with your wisdom, then go in that direction. You are more adaptable, more flexible, more able to survive than you know. Interest in the lands of Lumeria and Atlantis and memories of these lands may be resurfacing. Interesting. Should we carry on a little bit more? Um, we'll go to Rumi and see what Rumi wants to say about this. So Divine Masculine, I feel today's message is for you. Okay, that, that card there. Okay, Sacred Union, this card came out yesterday. But it just flipped over. So um, might be worth having a watch of yesterday's reading. Uh, the one for the Divine Feminine. Okay, the second reading that I've done. And then you can hear me talk about well, love, really. <laughs> Be quite overwhelmed with love. And I read the Sacred Union card. My energy is extremely funny today. Okay. 
is it standoffish? I'm not sure it is. It's just uh, quite flippant. Let's see what Rumi would like to say uh, about this energy. It's the impossible made possible. Card number nine. It's like I'm here to help and support you, Divine Masculines, but I'm he not here to become engulfed in your energy and allow it to consume me. I allow the energy of love to do that. Okay. <laughs> love brings the sea into boiling and turns the mountain into a pebble. Love creates infinite openings in the dark sky and shudders the earth with its magnitude, Rumi. She, she spins this great earth goddess upon invisible strings, almost a wildly pulsating ballet of life. Stars are born, live and die all around her. Life moves in constant flux and still she spins in her great loving, constant pirouette. How can this be? All of creation is born from nothing. Out of endless silence and darkness, light emerges. What strange magic is this? The sun heats the solar system and burns with the power to destroy life. Yet it is a force by which life is sustained. Surely this makes no sense and cannot be. We dance in the realm of the impossible made possible constantly, you and I. We are so engrossed in it, so familiar with it, and yet blind to it, that these constant impossibilities happening in every moment fail to inspire us. Yet what are your biggest, boldest, most extraordinarily impossible dreams compared to this great impossibility of life itself? Ah, they are but tiny seeds in the Creator's masterful hand, being now planted in the heavenly garden. Yes, they are being planted right now, for the moon tells us the time is right. Most tenderly shall they be watched over, nurtured into fullness, according to the season. Yet, yes, that growth is assured, the impossible is now made possible. We only limit what we believe to be possible by our lack of imagination. The divine has recourse to all that is and all that is yet to be. Is there any limit to the resources of the heavens? No. So then why has not every impossible dream now been rendered possible, indeed manifest in shining glory, upon the earth. The human heart knows everything envisioned can manifest according to divine timing and grace, yet the mind does quake with fear, so much so that it will not listen to the heart at times. That fear is a childlike nightmare that should you offer yourself up to the sacred loving power of the great creator, you might be found to be lacking. The mind holds itself captive with dark fantasies of that profound rejection and then avoids confronting it directly at all costs. It creates barriers. It creates barriers instead. Truly nothing more than lines in the sand, yet believed to be thoughts. But what strongholds can resist love? It is like water. It seeps into every available space and changes form to survive in every environmental condition. With unfailing intelligence, it creates life. From steam to ice, rainfall, the river and ocean, rain descending into snowflakes, snow capping the peak, expressing itself with beauty and genius. It nestles under the earth and rises to the sky, only to return to the earth again. It will erode blockages and prevail, no matter how long that process takes. It carves the earth into, into shape and form. Where it is, there is life. Such is the adaptable intelligence and persistence of water, just as is the power of love. 
So now you are guided by this loving power to drop the doubt. Shed the incredulity, incredulity and open up the mind. Allow your imagination to be inspired as though you are a child in a great garden here in the breath of the earth, in the wind whipped leaves and the voices of the ancestors in birdsong. The universe wants something to happen for you, something beautiful, something utterly improbable and something perfect for your path, your own unique divine destiny. Your mind will wonder if it is even possible. People around you may wonder the same thing, but your heart will burn for it to become real, to become more than a fantasy. Oh, to become more than a fantastic, improbable dream. Fantasy. <laughs> so your mind will wonder if it is even possible. People around you may wonder the same thing, but your heart will burn for it to become real, to become more than a fantastic, improbable dream. You'll want it with all your soul. You may not even be consciously aware as yet what this great desire is, but your heart knows. It holds the secret knowledge and will unveil it when your mind can handle it. When your heart is much more powerful than your mind, you won't unintentionally block the incredible grace of manifestation seeking to pour into your thirsty soul like the sweetest, purest waters of blessing. Divine Masculine, should we do this sacred honouring ritual? Place your hands very lightly at your throat. So don't strangle yourself. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Place your hands very lightly at your throat. Say aloud, with Rumi, who loves me unconditionally as my witness, I now offer myself into the hands of the all-loving creative intelligence of this universe. I release all vows, intentions or beliefs ever made, consciously or unconsciously, in this or any lifetime, that are based in doubt and fear. Holding back from creative fruition of my soul upon the earth, I dedicate myself to love and accept the gift of grace that brings me into greater fulfilment now. May I be blessed so I can surrender resistance and accept what is coming to me now for what it is. A gift of love, so be it. Place your hands at your heart and focus on your breath for a moment or two as it flows in and out. When you are ready, place your hands in prayer and bow your head to your hands. You have completed your sacred honouring ritual. I do apologise for kind of losing my flow throughout this reading. But um, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to leave you a postcard from Spirit, guys. Guys, for you guys. Let me give them a shuffle first. I feel a bit snappy. <laughs> You are magic. The unicorn says so. So it's got to be true, isn't it? Dear you, there is only one you and you have a unique place in the universe. Sometimes situations come up that challenge you to be authentic and that means you have to be fully yourself and let go of being what you think others may want. Now is not the time to conform to other people's standards or expectations. Be proud of who you are and be courageous. Stand tall in your convictions. Being yourself is a powerful statement and will, and will only lead you to success and ultimately happiness. Don't compare yourself to other people. Want what you have? Choose what your heart wants and know that your purpose is yours alone. No one else can claim your magic nor take it away. When you place authenticity and originality high on your list of priorities and give them a prominent place in your awareness, extraordinary things happen. Your life is a beautiful one. Love you always and forever. Let's leave it on that note then, guys, on that postcard. 
I will catch up with you soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.